Loda, okay, Loda doesn't have enough mana, so he can't harass into Iceberg at the moment. And well, uh, they go for it. That is not where you want to be. You always want to play. He's already used his boulder, so there's no easy escape. Goblet's gonna rotate over too. He's got disruption and catch it, but now you go for another double Hadouken with a tether forward from EGM with a spirit damage. They got the kill. There's no way Goblet can survive. Even that Revolver rotates over. They'll disrupt up, but first blood is spilt by Alliance. In fact, it looks like they've already like they did the the prep work by taking up the trees early on, and EGM's only got one stack. Oh wow, Afterlife, no he didn't just use that, he just used Time Walk. As Zarke comes in behind, Afterlife's got no way to escape this. With the Scream, the damage into the trees. S4 gets an easy kill. Two creeps are going to deal a lot of damage to this tower. If I can keep them. Lord, at the same time, he gets a kill mid onto Iceberg, so... EGM getting that rune. Fall down, or until you get Chrono up and running. Team Spirit don't really have that great a team fight contest. And uh, Loda, uh, goodbye always gonna fly. He's gonna try and go for the kick, gets one stun for the boulder. He can't go far enough away. See what he does. I'm I'm still just looking at Team Spirit and waiting for them to try to make a play. And they finally used the Smoke of Deceit on Earth Spirit and Shadow Demon. This is the kind of play that just has to work out. They're rotating to mid, Iceberg is setting up. Uh, the kick's off target though. Uh, they just dropped over on the Wisp, but Loda then just initiates onto Iceberg as Loda. Oh, well, very deep underneath the tower. EGM's gonna tether himself forward, but RK, he rotated over, which means they're gonna guarantee kill over on Iceberg. EGM, he is low, but like, this is your two supports that committed a smoke gang trying to kill off the Wisp. He almost gets mined up by the Black Dragon. It's not possible. Loda still going hand Ramsey. That's the bigger rotation. The toss back in Loda. He walked into the cold and Red put in a bit more of a random position. And with the rotation in from the Faceless Void, he'll find his level 6. And they get a big kill onto Alliance. They bring down the mid tiny. More of this for Team Spirit, but then just a bit better execution, as you said. The kick missed. Mm -hmm. And it really impacted the... They're gonna go on S4. Chrono straight up. Don't give S4 time to get out there. With a call down the Rocket Barrage. Really nice position from Afterlife. He actually gave enough space with that Chronosphere. Does that. Are they looking to go on mid? Goblack, he gets the disruption off. The catcher as well is gonna latch on the loader and then the Chronosphere. It's gonna cancel the the uh, aggressive TP dip from Afro Ball and try and save Loader. The raw hits on the face of Floyd, but then that's four! The huge Sonic Wave hits! Randy's callout still, still did do a lot of work and the loader tiny is down. But S4 taking too much damage from Ramsey's with the scream, the one charges. There are enough to keep Ramsey's alive. RK and Bulldog hot on the trail, however. The kick will come through from Always Wanna Fly, but it's a little bit too late. Well, Afterlife, he's basically gone a wall. He's got Time Walk Manor available, but he can't use both. And now they're going to relocate up for him. EGM, where's the spirits? He can't TP out. Afterlife does not have the mana for it. And EGM spirits just, well, actually, they time out now. So EGM does not find the kill with the relocate. Rifika taking out Roshan, like they've got a lot of survivability. Oh, stone kick misses. Oh, he's actually perfectly fine. That's a really big whiff. This gives so much information over to Alliance. They're actually dealing a oh, lot Gorgor. of damage. Oh, Gorgor! Gorgor's down, though. It's three of them. Randy's trying to get close enough to the Rocket Barrage. EGM is low, and he still gets. He will go down and being tossed around and for another double kill on these guys. Afterlife, he wants a time walk away, and he's going to be able to. They're getting all of that damage of Alliance. Probably going to wait another two seconds before he can do it again, and two seconds is too long. It's now 12 to 6 Alliance. Now this time they'll take a convincing fight, even if they do get three manned Chronoed. Absolutely. If he doesn't go BKB, he could actually be the Orchid target. Although I think there are other higher priorities for S4, but well, Afterlife's gonna be one of them. Can't time walk himself away. Shadow Strike, but nice fall down. A perfect three-man kick and the Chronos It only catches Arcane, but with a ball of board. Okay, okay, maybe it wasn't that great. They lose two in return for it. The Beastmaster, well, it looks like Bulldog tried to come in from behind. Iceberg cannot get himself out this one. Rent is getting rid of the Necro units, and maybe he will. 13 HP. The Shadow Strike will fly forward towards Ramses, but does not hit the target they wanted. And now we see if EGM, like, here for the top lane. They're assuming someone's going to go and defend against Loda, and they actually have a very good flank move prepared. Oh, the Void. The Void is dead. Um, Raw's being committed. Rip They're boy, making oh sure my. he can't time walk out of there, and the Orc is able to ensure that. So 41 seconds without uh, without a faceless Void means a guaranteed tier 2 tower. Uh, with a tiny... Like, you don't go any further than this, right? Like, you still look to go down the bottom lane to make sure you don't lose your tier 1 tower there. They might still go. The Void, without the Void, it's very difficult, Team Spirit. Oh, they actually just give them a freebie here. Oh, they're gonna go for the kick. 
Always want to fly comp by them. Space with a call down with the kick. That's a big one with Pansy. The black headed work the sun strike. They'll pick up EGM. Ake will go down too. They basically got magnetized into a horrible position. And Alliance lose three. The kick will be a little bit off target as S4 jukes it around the tree line. Is he looking for a revenge? He's got Sonic Wave and always want to fly is walking up needs to give Thermal Ward. So they can see him and yep, always want to fly is going to go down. S4 just looking to pick up the pieces. He ain't a seeker, he's a crow. And with a sonic wave, oh, and more! He goes deeper and goes for more! Now the boy's gonna crow him, but where's the support? The Sunstrike's gonna hit hard, they need a good time lock in this one, and S4, can he get away? Behold, S4, he can't get out in time! Over 1.1k gold goes away, a faceless boy. That'll finish up the Vladimir's offering. But he's... No, I sh they should be building a pretty, yeah. They've gained quite a bit of gold in the last few minutes. They're just out farming them. So, that boy's gonna get out of there right now. Beastmaster, playing Raw. The next units were still up. Originally, I think these guys were only intended to being like a D ward, realizing the team spirit moved aggressively through the Alliance jungle. This is the game. But right now, they're just Radiant's not wanting to take the risk. They slow it up. Attack. Don't lose the opportunities. Up life. Oh, he blinks. Forward, catch the Beastmaster Iceberg on the edge of the Chronosphere, but the kick's still gonna kick him perfectly. And for a nice on the wave, they relocate Loader in. The Magnetite might be down, but Loader's BKB will protect him. As if now, RK is S4. He's chasing out the Ren. He wants the big kill. He wants the Jara Cup. To everyone else is just like, well, it's a consolation prize. The Blink 4 from S4, he's got him. The Shadow Strike will connect. Ramsey's attempts the TP out in time, and he's actually going to survive because of that. S4 blinked in. Iceberg's there with a cold snap. Earthrun will now fire back to Iceberg. There's just so much damage coming out from Arke. Those Lancers just flying. Radiant's so four heroes lost for Team Spirit. Attack. The Gyrocopter remains alive. Radiant structures are fortified. Yeah, it's too late. Wow. They can just kick him. But that Rax, okay, after life. He's Radiant's trying to distract him or do something to, to dissuade Alliance from keep from continuous, continuing this attack. And they're able to do so. Oh, these fights. Keep him alive, it looks like uh, Team Spirit. No reason to wait, they're gonna come into mid lane to try and fight, but Alliance already smoked up and prepared for this. Loader, there's the poison from Gold, like they're trying to bit of a scout. They go on Bulldog with a cooldown, and he's gonna get the Necro unit off, but where is that Chronosphere? Hasn't come out just yet, it doesn't use the Magnetite, it's Ramsey, okay! There's more, just tries to man mode again, but it's RK with the damage from range does the work, and now the Chronosphere kicks in. But RK as well as EGM, they're playing the combo game, and that could be the game right there. They've lost four heroes, they've lost five heroes, a triple kill for S4. The only sacrificial lamb was Admiral Bulldog. That, like, 50 range of both of them, they were just inside the edge of it. Neither the moment you gotta make decisions Radiant's there, but... Top barracks has yeah. fallen. I think even a perfect chrono that is still a loser. That's yeah. the only play he has. They can try and have a crack and load up. Well, the tether. EGM tries to go for it. Remember, he doesn't have his relocate disruption of the load up. It's a fair chunk of damage. 80 seconds on the sideline for him. And S4 also blinks at the tree line. And a quick poison from Gold like Tornado. Just a second too late. Here. Like, with the faceless boy being aggressive, trying to find an opening. The second fight happens a little bit further up in mid lane up here. Uh, low top lane, S4. Nice kick. S4's well gonna go down. Like, this is what they wanted to do in the mid lane. Like, a quick pick and then just get the hell back and, and have more control of the map. But they fought. All the spirit don't, like, this is it for the fight. Like, if Alliance take a big fight here, then this game is over. But, Team Spirit, this time for the first time, they're actually gonna be defending with five players inside their base. Disruption's already over on Loader, and she's gonna start with the purge as well. On the Loader, the random follows up. Where's that chrono? It caught EGM and didn't get Loader, however, and the tonic wave from S4 is almost all of Team Spirit. Half life is dying to Arcade, but they've lost practically everything. Randy cannot defend this by himself. Buyback or not, GG is the call. Alliance will end up doubling the kills of Team Spirit, taking it in 36 minutes, 32 to 16. They were the favorites for this game, but it of, of smaller mistakes that all add up, but still, there was no point in this game when